Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace an inside door handle on this 2004 Volvo XC90. We show you the driver's side front, pretty much the same procedure for the passenger side front. Tools you'll need are a small flat blade screwdriver, T25 Torx driver, and either a door panel clip tool or a household putty knife will work as well. Okay, start out this top corner, just firmly grab it or use a screwdriver and pry it. It comes out. In behind here, if you have the upgraded stereo, there's a little speaker. Just press on the gray tab and disconnect. Okay, and then you're going to use a screwdriver again, carefully, go right in into here. And there are three tabs. up and lifts kind of up and out and there are two Torx screws right under here and these are T25 so I have a T25 Torx bit okay you can use the screwdriver style or this style it's a socket with a ratchet extension and I'm just going to speed up here while I take those two screws out Okay, now you either want a door panel clip tool or a household putty knife. Either one works. Kind of pull out on your door panel a little bit at the top. Put your putty knife in. Slide it down until you come to one of the clips. And then just give a good clip pull down further. You come to one of the clips. Okay, and just go right around. One good tug can actually bring it out. Okay, once you bring your door panel out a little bit, you have your um, door handle cable. You just kind of separate a couple little clips and pull out on that a little bit. Okay, it comes right out. And then there's two connections. I'm not sure if you can see both of them. This um, green one, there's buttons in behind. You just reach your finger right in behind, right in the center of this green one, and it pulls out. Okay, there's the button right there. And then there's a gray one back here, same thing. You just feel for a little button, push the button, and work the connector out. There's the connector, there's the button. And your door panel comes off. Remove your inside door handle, the 20 T25 Torx bit. Remove three screws here. And once you have those screws out, uh, the handle is part of this backing plate, and then there's um, this this piece here, this bezel is separate from the handle. So you have to separate those two pieces. And you can see little clips up here, which you can usually pry apart pretty easy. There's also a little clip down here you want to pry up on and pull the bezel away. Okay. I actually pulled the bezel on this side. Once you get it away some, you'll actually want to come over here and also pry up a little bit there and there. Okay. And then kind of open your door, pull your handle like you're opening it a little bit. And then pull this right apart. Obviously my handle's in fine shape. If yours is broken, it'll probably come apart a lot easier. But uh, to put it back together, put this bezel into place. Okay, I'm kind of reaching through with my finger, pull on the door handle a little bit, pull it through. Okay, get it lined up and into place. Okay, sandwich them together. Start your three Torx screws on here. And fast forward as I just start those three screws in and then tighten them up with the wrench nice and firm. Okay, 
Reinstall your door panel, pretty easy. Just reconnect your harnesses, the green one and the gray one. Okay, take your cable and put it in place. Just do a quick test, watch the cable, make sure that the handle grabs it. Okay, now put it back up in place, make sure this wire comes up top. Walk through. Okay, take it behind to the clip. Okay, got it on. I got that back one first. I'm gonna check my front one here. Okay, I'm gonna go right around. Two T25 screws. And I'm going to fast forward here as I put those two screws in and tighten them up nice and firm. Uh, and then also, can't see it very well, but up top there I put the uh, reconnect the speaker in the little upper triangle and snap that back in place. So in this piece, you have to kind of push it in and down, and lock it in place in there, and then lock it on. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.